Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy with PocketNow.com. Whether you like them or not, it seems like we just can't escape them. Ads, that is. They're in the games that we play. They're in the websites that we surf. They're all over the place. Is that a bad thing? Well, if you think it is and you want to block them, you've got a new option. It's Adblock Plus. It doesn't require root. It's really easy to set up, but there are a few caveats. Let's go take a look. Installing the app is very easy. You install, you wait for it, and it's done. Once you've done that, you've got this nice little nag up here in your notification shade. It essentially says Adblock Plus is running. No, you cannot get rid of that, at least not right now. It's because it always has to run in the background because you always want it to be blocking ads, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at PocketNow's website. Here's an article that I just wrote, and you'll notice there aren't any ads on it. Lots of comments though. Hey, thanks guys. If we switch over to the desktop version really fast, you'll notice that there are no ads there either. Now this isn't necessarily a good thing for publishers because publishers like Pocket Now get paid by you guys looking at ads. So keep that in mind. This is kind of an, an all or nothing thing, although you have some options that you can set up here in Adblock Flux. First of all, you can enable filtering or not. On and off. Very simple. Second, you can subscribe to a filter and refresh it. This has just got the easy list, which is the default. There are some advanced settings, though really not that much. Starting at boot, subscribing uh, or updating your subscription periodically, and then of course refreshing that subscription over Wi-Fi. Now that subscription doesn't cost anything, at least not right now. All it does is it gives you an updated list of things to block. Very easy, very basic. Now, this extends also across to games. So if you're a uh, big time gamer, if you like, say, Angry Birds Star Wars, there are ads in those games too. This will block them, but there are some things that you need to keep in mind. You don't need to be rooted, but rooted can help. If you're rooted, you will block ads that are served up, whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or 3G. If you're not rooted and are running Android 3.1 and up, it'll block ads that are served over Wi-Fi, but not over your cellular data connection. If you're not rooted and using Android 3 or earlier, you might have to set some things up manually. There's a link we'll provide you over at pocketnow.com that will tell you how to do that. The last caveat is Android can't block ads, or it doesn't let you block ads that are in SSL encrypted websites. Essentially, the data from those sites is encrypted and the ads therefore are encrypted as well. So uh, you might just see some, uh, some ads that are being pushed over SSL to get around that. But for the time being, for a free app, quick and easy to install, that's it. That's all you've got to do. If you can live with the caveats, that's great. Unfortunately, that whole cellular blocking thing that's where you really want to block ads the most because that's chewing up your data from your metered or limited data plan. And if you could do that without having to get ads eating into that data, that would be even better. Whereas Wi-Fi, you might not care as much. Unfortunately, it's just the opposite, but that's just for now. So what did you think? If you like seeing what you saw here and blocking ads at your leisure, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, head over to pocketnow.com where you can leave those over there and we can all discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly, and possibly even some other options for blocking ads. For Pocket Now, showing off Adblock Plus for Android, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.